It is a shame if people think Mugabe speaks for Africa. He doesn't. I mean, the vast majority of African leaders would have totally dissociated themselves from what he said yesterday. And this rubbish about neo-colonialism, that is just, that is merely a cloak, a cover, for what is a corrupt, a ruinous regime that is damaging, most of all, poor black people in Zimbabwe. And, you know, we, we, we should be thinking as an international community what more we can do about it. The trouble is the amount, number of levers we have in our hands are, are limited. But there's no doubt at all, Claire's absolutely right, there is a potential humanitarian disaster there. And when I was in Mozambique, I saw grain being offloaded from a ship in Mozambique for transport to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is potentially one of the richest grain nations in the world. And yet, because of the way he, is, he has ruined uh, the country, it's happening to import grain for its people. It's, it's a terrible, terrible tragedy. Uh, and one other thing that should be said very, very clearly, this nonsense about somehow, you know, we have held up land reform. The money is there for land reform. He could get that money and use it for land reform, because land reform is necessary, at any point in time he wanted. The only demand that has been made is the demand that it's done through the United Nations program in order to make sure that the money goes to the people, the poor people that actually need it, not into the pockets of him and his henchmen and the other people running the show. There is a, a retired uh, uh, chief of uh, the, the British Armed Forces and said that he had to withstand pressure from the then Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Tony Blair. Tony Blair who was saying to the chief of the British Armed Forces, you must work out a military plan so that we can physically remove Robert Mugabe. We knew that uh, because we had come under the same pressure that we need to cooperate in some scheme. It was a regime change scheme, even to the point of using military force. And we're saying no. Uh, you see, because you, you then, uh, you're coming from London. <coughs> I don't like Robert Mugabe for whatever reason, the people in London don't like him. And we're going to remove him and therefore it means we are going to put uh, somebody else in his place. Uh, why does it become a British responsibility to decide who leads the people of Zimbabwe? So we're saying no. <coughs> let the Zimbabweans sit down, <coughs> let them agree what they do with their country. Our task is to make sure that we stay with them and work with them. That's all that happened.